Welcome back to Iterates. This is week 176, days no 179, day six. Um, we do have some defense results to watch, but we're gonna do the match first because time. Uh, J for the fifth. All right. Um, this dancer, so maybe a rally trap. Not really. Ah, uh, Corin versus Tiki. I don't know. A lot of harder to player face this. Um, you of course can reach here. But I can only reach here. Mm, for this one, I don't know. It's one of those again, like literally, like I said, like just variations of um, cab lines is all we've been fighting. You're just going to destroy my Guinevere if I try to tank with her. I guess what would be a good way for going a beer to go like right here to break this then dance her from underneath but she just can't kill well she might be able to kill him but it's difficult to say whether she'll get that kill or not then on the other side I'll have to get Edelgar here but then there's this guy and I have to get out of guard there because of this girl. Ugh, it's just so annoying. You don't have quick impulse though, so maybe. Maybe I can just have you attack Grima and pray that Corin doesn't kill Corin. Ah, uh, Corin doesn't kill Tiki. Or for this one. Blue and blue. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll go with this. A merciful death. It's just you, just Sigur, making life difficulty, difficult, not difficulty. Um, oh yeah, and Triandra, of course. Um, Yeah, whatever. I mean, I don't have anything else. Let's go on turn one, I guess. Well, turn two. Fans, no. Bright Shrine, thing hits Tiki. Dark Shrine should hit Tiki. 48, 45. Mm, 48, 43. And Bright Shrine should What's hit this? Claude. Who 
dies first. Alright. Choose. We'll see what happens. Good morning. Maybe this way. So I have to wait to turn to anyway. The glimmer of life. Alright. Yes, choose. Who dies first? Choose. Is that good for on her a little bit? If I put on the front. Does it help me in any kind of way? Does it hurt me in any kind of way? Yes, it does if Lilina decides to go one, two. Goes one, two, three, and then she could get dance, possibly. Although you're gonna get dance immediately. Yes. So that guess it doesn't really matter. I got guards, so you're not gonna activate your special. But I also don't kill you. Okay, I <laughs> mean, that is a hell of a lot less. Get rid of you, who's definitely the one that annoys me the most. Stop fighting. All right. To get rid of you. Sure thing. I'm okay. What am I gonna live alive? Lilina? Ugh. Leaving someone alive is gonna be a pain. I guess Bramimon somehow? Yes, plus five speed. I do not object. We can get a little bit of speed on Ash. Thirty-five to his sixty is like twenty-five damage. So stay near the healing tower. I love you all. Could go like here, dance, take a Brammon, and getting hit by debuffs, so that actually increases my resistance. Not against, of course, her raw hit of, but. The glimmer of life. Basically, the same thing. Thirty-five versus sixty-one. Life. 
Yeah, not even sure how object. to go against taking somebody out. Death's caress. Because we would the take damage alive. from you. 48 to... No matter what, I'll take damage from you. Which means... Okay. Um I'm okay. I love you all, truly. If I moved Ash over here. Yes. That would let me move air over here and take up Ram one. Which means I'll need to get Tiki over here to this spot. I'm okay. Um, but how do I do that? Yes. I guess I could take you out, dance you. That I'm lets me okay. move you over here. Let's that go. also lets me move Claude over here to gravity. Uh, Triandra, and then reposition. Shoot. And then, I do not object. All right. Let's see. Who dies first? I love you all. Yes. So hit you first. Ready. Dance. Um. Move you here. Move you here. The glimmer of life. Take you out. Sure thing. Take you out. Reposition. All right, still alive for right now. Stop fighting. Fortunately, no cow got. Healed during this battle. Check. 41 rest to her, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Truly? Yes. Let's go. You do 8 damage to Chrome. Death's caress. Who dies first? Yes. Not Chrome, Claude. Alright Ash, we're putting all of our Ready. We're putting Tree. all of our trust in you. Maybe this way. Alright. Keep I you right object. here. That puts you within reach of the airs. I mean I'm they put okay. sticky. Okay, good. We got this. We got this. Sure thing. Ether, Choose. Ether, and we we'll let Ash get the kill.
All right, that worked. Good. Because we really didn't have much for plan going into this fight. Yeah, good thing you didn't have a um, quick impulse. All right, so this puts us at All right, we managed to get in time. We still have those two matches, we would just do later today. Uh, but we do have two defense replays to watch. Um, both failures, but the first one that came in counted for two falls defeated, while the other one, one fall. So still, so this one, we have, Henriette, double this in defense, swap, Ash, plus one with attack defense, bond, reposition. Uh, Lucina, soul, which, I don't know, I decided to give my, mine has ether, just because I think it's, having, been able to have the damage uh, part of the special is just slightly better than just healing. Claude, which is, from what I see in the, um, what most people use as their bonus unit this week, as opposed to Freya, Peony, plus 1, plus 15, and Yuri. So here you'll notice something interesting, especially because of the way they're set up on turn 1. So there's a dance right there, and then the rally right here. And I guess they were not expecting something like this because they immediately move um, Guinevere all the way to the other side, reposition her and everything, and get Claude out of the way. So whatever strategy they had, they had to switch it on the fly just because they were not expecting that rally like that. But of course, Henriette with her massive res can easily take on Novi. I am holding back. From here, their ball tower goes off, but they don't really have a way to take advantage of it. Offensively speaking. So Sigur just goes all the way from the top I will see it to be able to reach Lucina. His by this unit is just stupid. Enjoy Being able to move four spaces and sometimes five, depending on Pathfinder. And then Sotis can now move the three spaces to get up to Peony. So Sotis has also been getting a couple of kills this week on my team, so... I shall cut through. Always nice to see Sotis getting her revenge on all the haters out there. And yeah, unfortunately Lucina uh, is unable to heal. Now that she will be healing a, a lot anyway. So, one point, just finish off not. And Glimmer does 37 damage, I think? Yeah, 37 damage. Get the guy. No, not guaranteed follow up attack. That's a uh, legendary Lucina. She gives the, uh, the doll effect. Yeah, from right here, they don't really have a lot. Just Peony just finishes off Lucina. 
because they're when it, and their uh, Henriette was out of position. So Yuri cannot kill Hell, but he just sets her up for Wenabir to be able to take her out. I said no. Boom. I won't back down. And from here, yeah, they can take out Tiki. Still got their Ash within far safe range, so. No pots, though. Two units and no pots. That's just. I don't know why people take that. No, oh, well, actually, the reason they took this is because they didn't have a ladder. So, for this one. We can see why, but they definitely didn't have a ladder in that one. Now for this one, we have an interesting one. We have, um, well, not this unit, but we have Fallen Edgar, Ash. We have a Far Safe Hector with Special Fighter. And of course, Iduna has their near save with Deflect Mailing. Peony. And once again, Claude. So, double blue defense, which is good because half my team is red. And Hector does well against Stick and uh, Noe. Still able to do a good bit of damage to him. But yeah, Idun, which is not. We're not gonna scratch Idun. There's nothing to fear. Oh. My heart. Yeah, plus 20 defense, nah. So here's a pretty interesting move that they go. Get use Ash to keep Edelgar in front. So Peony, of course, being a green unit, goes after Hector to get herself killed. Sotis unfortunately goes after Edelgar. And with no guard effect, so we get one I shot. Here they decide to go after Hell with Edelgar, which uh, Hell is literally the only unit fallen Edelgar can never kill if Hell has a um, Mystic Boost. So what they should have done is kill her with Claude because now she goes straight for Idun. Armor effectiveness on Tiki. Well, not armor effectiveness, dragon effectiveness on Tiki. I want to help. And there you go. Nod is able to finish her off. So we were able to take out this Idun, and that's their one unit dead. 
which they probably would have been safer if we just have fallen Edgar be the one that tanks everything. Face your mortality. Because again, hell cannot can hell can never kill her. So, I mean, she can never kill hell. So, um, but yeah, so surprisingly good weekend on defense. Look, zeros. Zero left loss. I mean, we still have one more fight that can count. And it can come in at any minute since we're already past the 20 hour mark since the last one that counted. But even if we were to lose points, the most we can lose is 29. So that. Like, I really don't think this is that a good of a team. Like, <laughs> literally, the only thing is Sigur can reach on turn one or turn two with fans this spot and literally that's the only thing and there's this rally trap over here which is accidental i just forgot the rally of Noe when i made this team and but like even though it's a rally trap like it sets up over here uh if you just literally isolate peony it's over like nothing happens So I I don't think it's that strong a team, at least not to be getting uh to keep me at zero losses this week, but I mean I'm not complaining. Um I guess we do have a couple of things to summon on. I think like two banners. Uh so yeah, we'll go over that in a minute. But yeah, we'll redeem on this. Uh we'll go for I guess I'll go red for Om since I have him like a plus six, but I guess we'll just go for Faye then. She decided to uh, keep him away from being someone by showing up herself. All right, so we got Faye. And on this one, we'll go green for Mer. Or, I guess, Hector. We'll go for the obvious Hector. Ah, Marcia. Alright. What's that other um, Lance Cavalry that came out? Lance Flyer? I forgot her name. Uh, this one will go for Doozle. If not, uh, Shinon. So what's that? Blue colorless. Man. They really don't want to give me my first option on any of these ones. And that's it, right? Yeah. So let's talk about the Ascended Ishtar banner. We get to actually see their stats. So Ascender Ishtar. So she has a slain tome. And if she outspeeds somebody by 10, she gets a brave effect. Uh, which means all you need to do is just she has 50 speed. So anyone with 40 speed or less automatically will get um, double. And if you want, well, she has 50 speed because of life and death. But, literally, uh, phantom speed will just uh, negate this mind, this speed check to just make it a regular speed check. So basically, all she needs to do is just match their speed and she will double them uh, with a brave effect. Um, life and death, 7, I mean she has 43 speed, because she doesn't have get any speed from her weapon, so 43 speed, and 2 is 55, 45, 41, so 41 attack, and 41, and 43 speed, 43 speed is ridiculously fast, especially mages, so yeah, um, basically, she's all about that one turn kill. Tampoles and Slain Effect means she has Luna at two cooldowns. If she gets 
her brave fact. And, um, I mean, she'll have Luna at one turn cooldown. So with her brave effect, she'll be able to activate it on the second hit before Folk can counter attack. Uh, and because she has the Null Guard effect, she can just always hit you with her special, no matter what. So, very good uh, player phase unit, definitely only player phase. Uh, 17 defense and what's that, 31 rest. Not the greatest, but purely player phase. Then we have Tine, 6046, so she has a 14 mind tome, 5046 attack. Minus the 4 from Fury, so 42 attack. And 42 speed. 42 attack and 42 speed. Um, Blue Feud, which is very interesting to me, because I would like that to give her to a certain green mage that I have. That, likes to, that is pretty good at countering uh, Hector, Abel. Abel will love Blue Feud just to be able to just make sure that Hector cannot get any flame support. Um, but other than that, she has the slain effect. Turns 1 to 3, she gets if she's under 100% uh, HP, which means just like if you have, she's very much like Light City on that. So if you got Winter Bernadetta that does the one point ship damage. Um, depending on which one activates first, if the one point damage of burning activates first, then she, um, she would be able to get this effect to go. Uh, if her effect activates before burning, then it would miss timing, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but... Uh, so Grand Special cooldown minus one, so a time pulse effect during turns one to three, and if she's above 100, she gets the attack speed plus six. And deals 7 damage and neutralizes damage reduction. So the a kind of a dead eye effect, kind of a young Ines effect in her weapon. Arthur, um, which is a green mage. We have a lot of mages on this, like literally 3 mages. Another fast speed. All of these ones are fast stack. Uh, high speed, although this one at the very least has better defense than them. Speed Red Menace, um, very good skill. Attack Speed Ideal, very good skill, so he's very good for fodder. And uh, Skahath, 56, 30, 43, 24, so high defense, low rest. I would have liked a little less defense and more rest, making more uh, well-rounded. This is a four-star D mode, which a sword D mode is kind of rare because all the swords that we get are like super powerful sword masters. Especially like literally we just got two with young Ike and uh, young Mia. But he brings attack defense ideal, three um, to the four-star pool, so that's pretty good. Well, I don't know if he'll have a 4-star, but he'll be in the 4-star pool. And then he has Spirited Sword, which is like Pledge Sword from... Who was it? New Year's Oboro, I think, had the Pledge Sword. Uh, which is just if that he has both, he gets a, brave, a Blade effect, as in a special cooldown granting. So, not a... Not a Bad banner per se, uh, good mages. Ishtar is definitely one you have to be careful of, uh, especially if people decide to put her on defense teams because she can hit stupidly hard, even harder than uh, New Year's scoring. And Tine, as uh, she might also be pretty annoying uh, with her cooldown accelerations, uh, that means she can run. AOE specials and stuff like that. 
But for me, it's definitely a skip banner. Um, I'll go for tickets and go blue, if not colorless. We'll work it down blue, colorless, green. Uh, but only on the free summons and tickets, because Mythic Hero this month, so we gotta save for that. But other than that, that is pretty much it, so thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time. Bye! Oh, it didn't fall. <laughs> Bye!